Hi there, this is my new video and this one is devoted to another makeup chart from MAC Ratchet Set Collection. So this look is very dramatic and very sensual with dark inner corner on the upper eyelid and dark outer corner in the uh, lower eyelid. I want just to add that I have modified this look a little bit on my own, so I've added some very blue bright color on the upper eyelid in order to make the contrast between the eyelid and the defined crease very intense, even more intense than it is. And I have added some very bright silver pigment in the inner corner of my eyes to make the eyes pop. So, I have enjoyed doing this look and hope you will love this too. So enjoy when watching. applying the makeup base in this look, be sure you want to apply it over the upper eyelid and in the outer corner of the lower eyelid, don't apply it in the inner corner. To start the makeup with highlighting the under brow zone, you will need a fluffy brush like this and a highlight color, neutral color, and you will apply it here in the outer corner of the under brow zone in the inner corner close to your nose and a little bit on the lower eyelid next I will need a brush with dense bristles and I will use my pigment, neck pigment in silver and I will align the upper eyelid close to the lash line Take a small smudge brush and a light blue color and moving from the crease I will first go along the crease and then blend the color towards the silver. Concentrate the darkest shade here in the crease and blend the color going downwards. Then I will take again a small brush and a deep blue color and go along the crease, right in the crease the color goes lightly the closer I go to the inner corner the lighter the color is you want to blend the color here in the crease a little bit outwards, upwards and inwards to intensify the upper eyelid. And after that you will need a pencil and a small smudge brush. And here in the inner corner you are going to add some color with the help of the pencil. And then just blend this color, spread it along the crease and then go upwards. After that here I will use a dark grey eyeshadow and I will grab it again with a small smudge brush and apply starting from the crease in the inner corner, dabbing the color in here. And then spreading it along the crease, both sides and just blending upwards towards the brow and the nose do not go with the grey eyeshadow here below the silver line then you will need a very dark black eyeshadow and a small brush to intensify the inner corner in the crease and again you will apply the color starting from the crease And then blend the outer edges, merging it into the gray. Then use a fluffy brush with the light color need and just smudge a little bit the upper edges.
out of that with the eyebrow brush and with the dark gray eyeshadow I will define my eyebrows the eyebrows in this look are very thin and are situated very high in order to darken the inner corner And with the help of the small eyebrow brush, I'm just drawing the tail of the eyebrow. The tail is very thin. And you will need now to highlight the lower portion of the eyebrow. And after that, with the same fluffy brush, you can grab some light gray eyeshadow. And again, starting from the crease, you are just intensifying the inner corner and moving towards the eyebrow and the nose. Now we will work out the lower eyelid and for the lower eyelid I will take the same dark pencil and draw the line help yourself with the small smudge brush first move towards the inner corner blending the line you will stop somewhere here where the lash line stops and after that blend the color downwards Make some dots and with the brush just pull the color downwards. You want to eyeline the inner lid with a very thick line and after you do this here in the inner corner you will have some dark pencil color on the lower lid. You want to take a small smudge brush and blend this color moving towards the outer corner. On top of the pencil you want to intensify the outer corner on the lower eyelid. So again you are making the dots and pulling the color downwards. After that you can take some dark black eyeshadow and eyeline the lower eyelid very close to the lashes. And then just blend this color downwards. Next I will use MAC Fluid Line Black Track and a small thin brush and I will eyeline the upper eyelid starting very thin line in the inner corner. I want to stop on the highest point of my eye and after that I will keep the brush like this and just dab the color into my lashes and at the same time pulling the color with small strokes upwards and I will need a small flat brush or a blending brush and here on the outer portion of the eye I will just mix the silver eyeshadow and the black track and when I have just a very small amount of the product on the brush I will just dab the color here in the outer corner on the upper eyelid and then with the same small flat brush or a smudge brush I will just blend this color and now if you take a eye pencil, dark eye pencil and again draw 
some dots here over the black track fluid line. This will give you a very, very intense line because the eyeliner is still soft and this makes the color from the pencil very dark and intense. And now you want to use artificial eyelashes on the upper eyelid and uh, apply Flush Lash Mascara or Zoom Lash Mascara by MAC on the lower eyelid. And the look is done. Long ago, just like the Hershey, tired of getting.